guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another show review and we are on episode five of queens yes queens if y'all do not know if y'all have not watched the show or whatever it stars brandy eve notori not and, and i'm not sure who the other girl is and i still have not figured it out but next time i will i will come back to y'all with her full name okay so it basically it starts off with um oh still at the funeral and they were singing and brianna and alexis have been like keeping in touch with each other because come to find out alexis is pregnant but she came to brianna so she can get some advice and she asked what would you do in my situation she was like well i cannot speak for you you can only speak i can um you can only do what's right for you because we're two different people so alexis was kind of scared and nervous she's thinking about not keeping the baby so she asked brianna to go with her to the abortion clinic and they've been keeping in contact. Then after that, Jill goes on this crazy spiral. Like the therapist that she was sleeping with has now become her assistant. And had her book and shows and stuff like that. But the group is supposed to be performing for the AMA Awards. So they got so much stuff to do and all that stuff. Then you got Valer Valeria. She wanted to, like, get her face and stuff done so that she always look good for when she performs. She ended up getting butt shots. And she couldn't walk for, like, a couple of days. And then come to find out she got a stalker. <laughs> so she started going crazy. Then you have Naomi. Her daughter and Eric are getting that one-on-one -on -one missed um, bonding time. Of being a father and daughter relationship. So Naomi's still kind of on the fence of that. On the fence of that. But she, you know, comes around a little bit. And just like, you know, okay. I'll let them go by themselves and do what they got to do. Then. um, Yeah. After that. Yeah, Jill start going crazy, and the girls are not like they're not for it. They rather get the old Jill back. Come to find out, her husband freezes all her assets to their accounts so that she don't have no money. And then she calls him, and he was like, "He's crazy! Like it's, he, she really must have put a spell on him because he he wasn't going, but he was not budging one bit." He was like, no, I love you. I want you to be with me and stuff like that. And I don't want to let you go. He was like, you cheated on me for Tina. And then I see you kissing somebody that ain't Tina. Mm -mm, I ain't going for that. So she eventually says, I'm going to um unfreeze the accounts and let you go. So that was the end of that. Um, little muffin is back in the picture. I know I'm, I missed her. She was back in the beginning. She came back in the picture. They um was re um re re renegotiating her contract or whatever, seeing if she's still how she was before she got into rehab. And she was like, "Yeah, and I want to do stuff this way and this way." So she puts on face to um try to act like a normal person. Because you got Little Muffin and then you got Lauren. So she's trying to put on a facade that she can do, do, be, do, get the best of both worlds, basically. So she's in the grocery store going shopping, whatever, and she ends up seeing this magazine with her on the cover. And two girls in the, um, the, um, the line about to get, um, rung up or whatever. And she had the cart full of groceries. And then they start talking about her. So she ends up putting on her shades. And then she was like, mm. then she ended up hitting them with her cart. Like, I ain't got time for them to leave. And she left. Then she goes back to the studio and, you know, she asked him, her friends, the question, like, do you think um, I still got it? And it was like, mm. some of the friends didn't say nothing. One of the friends was like, yeah, you don't got it. <laughs> she didn't like it. So she tried to um, 
revamp her style and she ended up getting this unicorn horn bedazzled into her forehead. You know, like Uzi Vert got his diamond in his head. That's what she did, but it was a unicorn. Like, it was crazy big. So after that, they um go to the AMA Awards, the pre the pre show. Then you got Jill performing that the girls didn't know nothing about. So they was just like, okay, you she's starting to move funny. But whatever, that's here near there. So they was like, well, I'm gonna let that slide. Um Brianna and Valeria is both at the um what the heck? I would say bar area like but not but the bar not at the bar but at the bar something like that yeah so at the lounge basically and they're just talking to each other and then they spot well valeria spots this guy i guess he's a known rapper or whatever from across sitting at the bar and she thinks that he's talking she she thinks he's trying to flirt with her but come to find out it was really brianna he's like I'm here for peace sex. Like, oh, he got her number and everything. He asked her, can I fly you out? Can we go to Paris and all that stuff? He was like, she was like, I got five kids. He like, bring them. Kids ain't nothing to him, I guess. Like, he like, to her age, she's like in her 40s. And for him, he's like in his 20s. So she's like, do you know how old I am? He was like, AJ, nothing but a number. <laughs> so eventually, um, he, he gets her, well, he puts his number in her phone and was like, well, if it's a year, days, weeks, months, whatever, whatever, just call me. So eventually they, all the girls come, well, Naomi and Valeria come back to the table and they start talking like, what was that about? And then Mr. Doing all that as they watching Jill perform, she gets, she calls him and she leaves. Yeah, I already know this bus about to go down there. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> so, you know, it goes off to her. She's going over there to meet him at his house. He's sitting at home reading the Canterbury Tales. That's a good book. If you have not read that, go ahead and read it. It's good. And, you know, they do the do the do. And then she leaves. She dipped on them. <laughs> what did she do? What she did was like, I'm out. Um, After that... Alexis, she ghosted Brianna. She dipped on her too. Like, listen, she put to meet her at the abortion clinic. Brianna's texting her and all these messages. Ain't nothing come back to reply. So Brianna goes home. Well, goes to um Alexis where she stays and her roommate answers the door like, um, Alexis is not here. She up, packed her stuff, and she left. She did not say where she was going. She owed her money in the case for being just like what in the world and brianna's like um she don't know what she's gonna do because at the end of the day that's still her husband's kid and that's also her kid's sibling so she just wanted to make sure she, i don't know she wants her to just get rid of the baby in general or she just wants her to make sure she does the right thing in general i don't know kind of iffy between brianna and alexis is like it's kind of cringy with them too but we got to see what's going on next. Um, then after that, the girls confront Jill talking about, you know, you you doing this stuff behind our back. And then Jill's like, I don't need the group or whatever. And then all the girls is just like, ugh, I can't right now. Then come to find out Valeria Stalker <laughs> is her mother. Like, what in the world? And she starts crying as she opens the door and stuff like that. So, she's going to see if they can try to rekindle their relationship. Because, basically, her mother basically abandoned her. She hasn't known her, her whole life. So, we're going to see what goes on after that. Then, let me see. I mean, I kind of skipped some parts. But, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory. If you actually be keeping up with the show, y'all know how, how it went. So, Eric and... Jojo, their bond is getting closer because they was out at lunch one day and then his chain got robbed. And then come to find out, Eric thought it was one of his old nemesis, but it was just three random kids playing the game that they see on TikTok. And they stole his chain. They eventually got it back. And 
Jojo told her mother that she loved her and she's glad and happy. And her mother was just in awe. Then, as we're about to end the show, Jill and Brianna, they have a little talk. And she talks and Brianna tells Jill, like, you know, I need you. You said you was going to be here for me. I need you to help me with the kids. Come keep me sane. Give me that good advice that I need to hear and stuff like that. They knock on the door. Jill's ex-husband, Darren, come to the door with a contract or a thing or even um, separation papers, whatever. And he burns it up into her face like, I love you. And I ain't never letting you go. And then you got Jill crying. And then you got uh, the other girls coming in right at the same moment. They stomp out the paper offside. And then they come in and they all hug each other. And then they get ready to perform at the AMAs. So I cannot wait till next week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Y'all can also check it out on ABC's Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. And you can also stream it the next day on Hulu. So that way you can be updated in, in all the tea. Yes. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this recap of episode five, Queens. And if y'all yeah, if y'all enjoyed this, please give it a like, comment down below, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notification bell so that way you can be notified for every time I drop a new recap of the episodes. Come on, it's getting really, really good. Y'all got to check it out. And with that being said, see you in the next one. Bye.